The relevant area of the project is renewable energy. Environmental concerns have led to a significant increase in demand for renewable energy production. Wind turbine energy forms a sizable part of the renewable energy sector. Although wind energy has a low carbon footprint when compared to conventional energy production, as the industry grows it is imperative that wind turbine design focuses on decreasing the environmental impact of turbine production. This project aims to reduce the carbon footprint in the manufacturing process of wind turbines using engineered wood composites for the purpose of sustainability. The project is a wind turbine with wooden blade construction for purposes of sustainability which is equipped with a charge controller system and voltage display system made to charge a 12 volt battery. The mechanical engineering students in our team worked on the wooden blades in design and integrated them with a generator and the electrical engineering students worked on the charge controller system and the voltmeter which is programmed on a microcontroller and LCD display. The charge controller and voltmeter is the main emphasis of the electrical circuit. It takes in the AC current from the generator, converts it to a DC, which is then controlled by the charge controller and makes sure that the battery terminal stay 12 volts. Any excess charge is offloaded using a relay into a dummy load, which is dissipated. And if it's under 12 volts, the charge controller will allow the current to go into the battery and keep charging. The microcontroller is programmed and interfaced with the LCD display to take the battery terminal voltage and display it for the consumer. The schematic is shown here. It was laid out on LT Spice and simulated for power usage and voltage across the components. It uses four op amps, a linear regulator, and a rectifier system as the main function of the circuit as well as a relay. The relay takes in the output of the rectifier and switches on and off depending on if the charge as shown by the charge controller and sensed by the op amps exceeds the 12 volt limit that is set for the battery. The turbine blades are designed and constructed with VersaLam Southern Pine Laminated Veneer Lumber, also known as LVL, which was built in the UNLV machine shop. It consists of 36 inch long wooden blades pictured to the right. The blade design was created with the use of a NACA 4415 airfoil, which was optimal for the desired conditions. As you can see the picture here, the turbine blades are mounted on a tower and were fully constructed in the UNOV machine shop and fully functional when connected to the generator. The circuitry was simulated on LT Spice and the prototype was laid out on breadboard after we had drawn out the schematic. Uh, the parts were pretty easy to obtain. We mostly used op amps, TL op amps. Uh, we used a 12 volt SPDT relay. We used a common microcontroller and a two segment LCD display. We interfaced the LCD display as shown on the image on the right using wire and connected up everything in the lab at UNLV. Um, as you can see, it's going to take in the input voltage, rectify it, and you have the row in the middle of the four op amps sensing the voltage and making sure it regulates it at the 12 volts set for the battery and we have uh, potentiometers to set the high and low voltages of the op amps to make sure that it senses appropriately and works. Market solutions include household turbines which can be used by consumers. Uh, it can be used in conjunction with a solar grid. Uh, and we believe that our project can compete with other commercial wind turbines and has a future in a global economy that's reorienting to renewable energy. Interesting facts, uh, standard wind turbine blades made from composite uh, plastic materials are impossible to recycle, but wooden ones are recyclable. They offer substantial cost and weight reductions as compared to fiberglass.